Hello, my name is Sean Lamond, and I live in North Carolina. I come from a Republican family. My parents were precinct officials. I grew up with Republicanism being part of everyday life, and that was back when being a Republican in the Deep South was neither fun nor easy. Now, by way of background, I served 12 years in elected office in North Carolina. A police commissioner, city council, mayor, two terms in the North Carolina State House, representing part of Charlotte and Eastern Mecklenburg County. I have a degree in economics from NC State University, and for the past 10 years, I've been a consultant in the energy industry. I live with my wife and two daughters in Greensboro. I believe the Republican Party is at a critical crossroads, and our actions as conservatives this November will permanently fix the trajectory of the party either as a viable entity capable of governing a world power, leading on the world stage, and winning broad support at home, or whether we begin the process of marginalization and a move toward the sidelines of history. The Republican National Convention this year was remarkable for two things, what it contained and what it did not. What it did not contain is the brain trust of the Republican Party those experts and professionals who have governed and led the party over the past 50 years were absent. Nor was there any discussion aimed at conservative fiscal Republicans. There was no discussion of the national debt, which has gone up some 10% during Mr. Trump's term. There was no discussion of the annual deficit, which is almost a trillion dollars a year now. While many of us supported his tax cuts of 2017, it's fair to say that most economists were appalled that they were not offset by budget cuts and instead were simply, for lack of a better term, put on the country's credit card. The balance of trade was also obviously missing. During Mr. Trump's first term, he's had three years of tariff wars, the result of which was $1.8 billion a year in losses to our farmers, $58 billion a year in losses to consumers. And yet at the end of 2019, the U.S. trade imbalance was the largest in U.S. history. But most shockingly was the complete absence of a definitive plan for dealing with the pandemic that has killed 190,000 Americans and shows absolutely no signs of abatement. The lack of such a plan, the lack of even addressing the pandemic in a meaningful way, was shocking. What was there is four straight days of Donald Trump and the Trump family. Half the keynote speakers were Trump family. All the speakers messaged only two things, either praise for Donald Trump or claims of disaster and catastrophe if Donald Trump was not reelected claims that the Democrat Party is some sort of evil, ungodly group set on the destruction of the United States. Such blatant attempts at turning the Republican Party from a political entity to a personality cult of the Trumps is, in my opinion, sickening. I think it's pretty obvious why the Republican Party, its future and its platform, were never the focus of discussion at the RNC this year. With over 200 Republican officials having taken the extraordinary step of coming out in open opposition to Donald Trump's re-election, it's difficult to say that Trump represents the Republican Party. These are people that form the intelligentsia, the backbone of the Republican Party. It's impossible to dismiss them as a few malcontents it's a floodwater of hundreds of those who have served the party, served our presidents, and served in our government over the past 30 years. In conclusion, this November, being a true Republican, a true conservative, a true Christian, will mean standing up and opposing Donald Trump and those who support him. We must stop their hijacking of the Republican Party and only by so doing do we have any hope of returning the Republican Party to a party of integrity, of dignity, 
of good governance according to conservative and Christian principles. The Republican Party I know would have never sat by and watched 190,000 Americans perish in this pandemic while preaching a creed of delusion and denial. The Republican Party I know would have never backstabbed our faithful Kurdish allies and betrayed them to be slaughtered by the Turks. Nor would it have supported the irresponsible behavior of increasing the national deficit, the national debt, and the national trade imbalance while implementing worthless tariff wars that served only to hurt American farmers and American consumers. The Republican Party I know, the Christians I know, cannot and would not have ever ripped children from the arms of their parents and put them in cages just to look tough on immigration. And the Republican Party I know would have screamed defiance at anyone who referred to our fallen war dead as suckers and losers. This November's election will be about the very heart and soul of America and about the future of the Republican Party. I beg you to join me and other conservatives in opposing Donald Trump, for only in his defeat and the defeat of all those who support him do we stand a chance at winning back our Republican Party. God bless you and keep you.